Alright guys, so today I'm going to be going over a method I use to string a lot of my Asiatic bows, especially my heavy poundage war bows. Uh, the reason I'm sitting is because all you need for this method is a rope and the ground. You can do it solo. And just a disclaimer before we start, bows come in all shapes, sizes, and materials. So just make sure you know your bow well. Start off, experiment with a light poundage bow, and just make sure this method is going to work on the shape of limbs that you have and uh, other variables like that. So, you can rest your bow on your lap because you don't want it to get on the ground, there might be moisture. So all you're going to need is about a 15 foot rope, some kind of soft blend, and I recommend a load capacity of about 200 pounds. And what you're going to do is tie angler's loops on each end. So I have about 10 feet of rope in between the two loops. So all you're going to do is wrap the rope around your midsection twice. And you don't want it to get too low on your lower back because then it can slip down and change the angle. So you want to get it so it's equidistant you'll be able to check that again once you start stringing. So like any time you're stringing, start with the string in one notch and then make sure it's under the loop on this end. So what you're going to do is bring your feet in and use the arcs of your toes and put them on either side of the grip. Now you can take this time to adjust Make sure the pressure is equal on either side. You're just going to kind of ease the tension and then reapply it until your loops are equal on either side. You want to make sure the limbs are flat out. Make sure this string is in the notch here securely. And make sure this, loop, this string is through this loop. Now all you're going to do is apply pressure. Keep equaling out your tension. Push, push, until it notches. Now, this is very important. Do not let off pressure with your feet until you're absolutely sure that it's notched. So it could hurt the bow, and more importantly, it could hurt you. So you're gonna let it down very slowly, keeping the tension in your legs. So, this is a 100 pound bow. And you can see how easily I was able to string it. Your legs are really strong, so pushing out like this, if you have the right leverage, makes it pretty easy. Now to unstring it, you're just going to repeat the process. Apply even force. And it's just as important to let it down very slow as you unstring it. So I found this to be a very safe and effective way to string bows, especially with heavy poundages. Just to repeat, make sure you know your bow, try it out before you use it on anything expensive or anything with uh, kind of unique shaped limbs. And uh, again, just be safe. Make sure you're not letting off the pressure until it's properly strong. Other than that, have fun. Good luck.